good morning. Water always, all day long. Earlier today, I had um, some applesauce with some ginger in it, uh, ginger powder, and lemon juice in it, and what else? Some non-dairy yogurt, almond milk yogurt, just like two soup spoons full of the yogurt and about one spoon of concentrated orange juice to give it some extra flavor and about maybe a tablespoon of peanuts that was like 10 o'clock and now it's noon I'm not hungry yet I'm thirsty so I'm having water so I haven't been able to eat this thing this thing this I made Friday and <laughs> I didn't expect it to come out so thick. It's just green split peas. Uh, that thing on the top is a bay leaf. Anyway, I've been eating this um, on the Sabbath, Saturday, and on Sunday, the first day of the week, yesterday. And just two days of eating it. Even a pretty large amount of a serving, you can't eat too much more than that, it's so filling. And I ate other normal things with it, like uh, brown rice and vegetables and stuff like that. I even had some sprouted uh, grain tortilla, a big soft tortilla, with honey in it too. Anyway, I'm losing weight with this stuff, and I'm remembering what I heard in a video. I, I listened to Dr. Furman a lot. And he says that when we eat beans and, and legumes, things like that, that we only get 90% of the calories because it has so much fiber in it that, you know, it, it just goes through us. So that's pretty nice. So I keep track of um, my health on a calendar. I have a daily other daily calendar like you know bills I have to pay etc places I have to go but I like to put on here my my weight and how I feel and then I can look back on a day where I gained a pound or two I could look back and see what happened or on a day that I didn't feel so great I could look at the day before and say well what did I do wrong you know so you know on let me see I was 127 pounds on Saturday um, yesterday was 126.1 and I didn't do any chores on Saturday that's for sure and um, and today I'm 125.3 and yesterday I only used uh, the weed whacker and uh, I don't know I was dancing a little bit in front of the TV and do some walking in place but uh, that's pretty good just from eating green split peas they, they, they take a few hours to cook um, put a lot of water in it, in them and of course any herbs and spices you like uh, put salt in your dish if it's too plain for you but uh, it seems to be true what uh, a lot of ex experts say online that it, it's what you eat not exactly the quantity although we have to be careful with things that contain fat and high grade protein because that's not good for the kidneys Anyway, uh, keep trying. If you're on some kind of diet, then adjust it, change it, keep trying. And if you go off once in a while, don't worry about it. You'll probably feel so full and icky that you'll go right back on your same diet or, or you'll try another one. Health is great. It feels good to feel good day and night, to not take any medicines. Um, my poor neighbors won't listen to me so they're really suffering you know with the pills and, and the procedures and and most of them are, are, are very overweight um, nothing works right if you're overweight and nothing works right in the body if you load it with sugar sugar is like if you pour sugar in a glass of water the water is going to become thick so it turns into glucose in our bodies so can you imagine thick blood trying to get around and all the tiny little capillaries we have mm -mm. 
So you get used to eating healthy, and then the unhealthy stuff tastes disgusting. When I first stopped dairy products, which I always loved, imagine, you know, growing up in the Sicilian part of the family. Hmm. Well, a few months I didn't use dairy products because I wasn't feeling so great. And then I was feeling good again, and I tried dairy again, and it tasted so disgusting is the only word I could use. Um, so when we get clean or purified taste buds, then we realize what things really taste like. Think about it.